What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dina and we're in the garden today. I'm here with my boys Willie and Klaus and we're sitting in front of our strawberry patch. Today is very exciting because I'm about to pick the very first strawberries that have ripened, kicking off the strawberry season. Strawberries are the first berry that starts producing in the garden before blueberries or raspberries and blackberries. So for me, when strawberries start growing, that really feels like spring, even though that officially started a few weeks ago. Today, I'm gonna pick these strawberries. I'll show you my strawberry patch, explain how I got it started, which I think is the best way to start growing strawberries. And I'm gonna eat these strawberries right after I pick them. You'll see that they're small, but they make up for their size with their sweetness. Now, strawberries are something that I eat just about every day in my oatmeal. They're super low in calories, high in nutrients, super kid friendly. I know my niece and nephew love to come over here and pick handfuls of strawberries. It's just super exciting, super rewarding, especially because I think they are easy to grow, especially here in North Carolina Zone 7D. So without further ado, let's pick these strawberries and kick off the season. Let's do this. As you can see, we have a lot more berries growing. Sometimes the berries grow right on the ground, which allows them to be easily found by slugs or pill bugs. So what I'll do to try to prevent that is I'll take some of the strawberries if they're about to ripen and kind of place them on a leaf to keep them from sitting on the ground. These were already kind of sitting on a leaf, so that's pretty good. I just love how you can start to see the strawberry forming inside the flower. Strawberries are self-pollinating, but in our Back to Eden style garden, we have a rich ecosystem full of insects like bees to pollinate the plants. This allows for greater yields because without them, you may have misshapen strawberries or smaller fruit sets. So I actually just ate those strawberries and realized that I thought I'd press the record button but didn't. But it's all good because if you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for a notification every time I drop a new video, you'll see all of my harvests and they will just keep getting bigger and bigger. Today we just had three, but you'll see that we'll be harvesting plenty of strawberries as the season progresses. 
So the way that we started this strawberry patch is we visited a fellow gardener who gardens here in North Carolina as well, organically, and he was selling some plants and giving tours of his garden. So we decided to buy a few of his strawberry plants and he simply dug them up in the winter season when the strawberries were dormant. And we just took them here to our wood chip garden and buried them also in the off season. And strawberries go dormant during the fall and winter. They kind of turn a reddish brownish color apart from this vibrant green that you see here. And they sort of lay down as well during the dormant season. And it's during that time that you can transplant them with no harm to them. So that's really cool. And I think the best way to start your strawberry patch if you know somebody growing strawberries. Now we started with literally a strawberry patch about this big. And the thing about strawberries is that they multiply on their own. They throw out these tendrils and they root themselves and start a new bunch. And that's how they spread, which in this case is really awesome because it creates a bigger strawberry patch with no effort. They did start encroaching across our fence. So what we did is we dug up those and we gave those to friends so that they could start their own strawberry patches. So it's pretty cool that they multiply on their own. It kind of gives you an endless supply or if you want to relocate some and start another strawberry patch in a different area of your garden, it allows for that with ease. I hope you enjoyed this short video on strawberries. And I hope you come back for more harvest. And Willie does too, right Will? <laughs> Until next time guys, keep growing.